So when you think about ice hockey, do you think Stanley Cup, NHL? Do you think USA and Canada and Russia on the international stage are always competing against each other for international honours? But China doesn't often feature up there, does it? What we're about to find out, though, is that more and more children in this country, as young as eight years of age, they're beginning to take up the sport and hoping to change the fortunes of this country in ice hockey in the near future. The team is called the Beijing Snow Dragons, and they're coached by Yao Nai Feng, the very man who took the Chinese women's team to a fourth place finish in the Winter Olympics in 1998, their best Olympic result till date. And not to mention the Asian Games gold, the one under him as well. It's not exactly a case of the earlier the better, but they do start from the age of four or five. Ice hockey has a lot of different stages. There's a lot of dependence on the body as well as the equipment, learning to work that first. Then they need to learn ice hockey itself, so it needs some time. And soon they'll be testing those skills in Shenzhen at the beginning of May for the Asian Junior Ice Hockey Challenge in what's likely to continue the game's growing influence in the country. Nowadays we have a lot of games and there's still a Beijing Youth League which isn't over yet. But compared with foreign countries, we still have fewer teams. So by participating in the Shenzhen Youth Challenge, we want to help spread the game to different places and expand its influence. It's not about the result because ice hockey is developing well in Beijing, while the same can't be said for Shenzhen. And while more participation's always welcome, as you might have guessed, there's plenty of interest building in the game already. My kid's been playing for two years, and he likes it very much, and he keeps practicing. The game's definitely gaining popularity now. I believe as a country, we will improve our skills in the future. We are among the enthusiasts that started uh, two and a half years ago. And I mean, if you enter his room, it's full of uh, pictures of the NHL stars. And we watch like twice a week uh, uh, games. And if we go to vacation, we attend also camps in other countries. So yes, definitely, it's a full-time uh, uh, interest. And the hope is, with the early start, dedicated coaching methods and regular games, it might just produce more success on the international stage as well. Of course, it's impossible that everyone will be successful, but there will be some. And even if they don't represent China someday, playing the game now and training the way they do, no matter what they do when they grow up, this will help in their future lives. But like the coach says, there may just be someone who gets to the top as well. This is Aidan Barua for East West Sports on BON.